Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I have an art journal page for you and it's one again in that handmade traveler's notebook art journal and it's a little insert I made myself from Kenson mixed media paper and today I will mainly work with collage and water soluble crayons such as the Stabilo Woodies and Neo Colors. My voice is still not okay. I mentioned this in my last video and the video I'm making today is on that same day because I'm preparing them f through for, for our holidays. So I have something to uh, post while we are away and that's why I might not talk too much today. Um, I'm adhering some paper scraps from my collage stash with um, a glue stick. And I'm using all kinds of different papers. These are all book papers that I have stamped. And this one is a tissue paper where I have written something with um, the Pentel pocket brush pen, which is water waterproof once it's dry. And I will also use some leftover paint papers or maybe jelly prints. I have a stack of leftover paint papers here. That means that whenever I'm using acrylic paints, I have a paper lane next to me. And there I um, clean my brush on. I um, do the paint on this one. I use it as a palette. And when I'm done and I have leftover paint, I just smear it with any kind of brush or tool I have. Um, next to me and these papers are often so great for collages or they make perfect backgrounds for any kind of artist trading card or tag or maybe also for greeting cards. I love this one because of the neon color on it and this stands out from the other colors and I really love it against the turquoise and the black.
I will now cover the whole page with gesso. I'm using a transparent gesso and the one is from PBO. I use it quite often recently and I really like the finish it gives to the surface. The gesso dried quite quickly and now I'm going in with the Stabilo Woody's to add more color. You can of course use the new colors and I would recommend if you don't have any of these get the new colors. They are not as expensive as the Woody's and they are artist quality and you get more material um, in one new color compared to the Woody. The Stabilo Woody's are made for kids and um, I often recognize that good kit supplies are m sometimes more expensive than artist supplies. And they are not different compared to the Neo Colors, I would say. They are even, they are not better. They, they are pretty similar, I would say. And I have no idea about the light fastness, but I think that it's not that important if you're working in a journal or in a sketchbook. I'm blending the woodies with a brush and a bit of water and I think that's quite a fun process going over the collage with these water-soluble crayons. I wanted to make some white splatters and I'm scribbling the woody onto my glass plate to then pick it up with a brush. Um, the white woody is not as um, opaque as uh, the others, I would say, or for a white material. So this will, won't give you um, a very, very opaque white dots. It just will give you some texture on the page. While my page is drying, I am going to prepare the main images, which will be the flowers from one of the flowers from our inky flower stamp set. And I'm using stays on because I'm stamping onto acrylic paint and I have laid a piece of foam underneath to make sure that I get a good impression because stays on ink is quite sticky together with a clear stamp on an acrylic surface. And I picked also a leftover paper where I had some neon colors on. I 
I'm going to cut out those flowers. My page is dry and I will now add even more texture to the background by just removing some of the woody color with a stencil. I will now add some texture with a ticket stamp from our Mixed Media Marks stamp set to bring in some different kind of textures. I really like that um, the, the letters and the text on those stamps because they are so different compared to the artsy marks. I decided to give my page kind of a frame with also a stamp from that same set and it has just some small ovals and I will stamp it all around the page so it frames it and I think that looks quite nice. I decided to go in with some really opaque ink in white. Um, that's the one from Schminke. I believe I told you in the last video that you don't want to buy these because the bottles are not very good. I have several that where the, the pipette is broken. Um, the white is still okay, uh, but still I would not recommend getting them. They are quite expensive and they are not as good as some others out there and I'm just adding in that white to cover a little bit of that super busy background because it was quite um, it was too much I felt and I needed some white space here and I think that was the right decision here I'm bringing back a little bit of that neon pink that I covered up I'm picking some neon pink ink and make some splatters over my page because that um, will fit the flowers and will make look everything a bit more cohesive. Everything is dry now and I'm going to adhere my flowers but first I just lay them out and see how I want to arrange them. I wanted to draw a stem and I'm picking the black booty and I dipped in the nib into water to get a really intense line. But I didn't like how this um, turned out because it was just too big and chunky and here I'm removing it quickly from my page. And I will now use a black Posca paint pen to draw my stems.
as the flowers are quite pink i want to give them a green center and i'm using also the posca paint pans for that because they are opaque and that works quite nice but i think it might also work with a dry woody because they are also quite opaque As the greens I picked were quite dark, I decided to use another paint pen. This is one um, from a Jeep brand. It's not really a brand. Um, and it's a light green and that is perfect, I feel, for the center. I felt that the stems of the flowers looked quite empty, but I didn't want to add some leaves to them. So I decided to add some handwriting and I just write down some thoughts and I do it very messy because I don't want anyone else to read them. But that's also a quite nice way to just express yourself maybe in your journal by writing down your thoughts. And what's also um, a nice idea, what I sometimes do, before I start a page, I write something on it and then I cover it up with collage and paint. Um, I can't read that again, but I, it, it just makes something to your mind when you write something important down. I thought I would add some white splatters as well to the page to just give it even more vibrancy and interest. It's just something I can't not do um, <laughs> because it's one of my favorite techniques. I hope you like my page and I will leave you with some photos and there is a link to my blog with some photos and I hope you enjoyed it and we will see us next time. Bye!